Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. We are going to have fun today. I'm going to hit some shots left-handed and we are going to test steel shaft versus a graphite golf shaft. My club speed left-handed is around about 70 to 80 miles an hour for a 7-iron, which generally would be fitting into a regular golf shaft. A lot of times people ask, what are the benefits of playing a regular steel or a regular graphite golf shaft? And we're going to explain the differences between the two today. It's going to be a fun test, me swinging left-handed. I definitely am not a left-handed golfer. Oh, dang it. I'm left-handed. I throw left-handed, I kick left-handed, I right-handed, but I never have ever played golf left-handed. So it's been kind of fun to see my golf swing kind of slowly get a little bit better left-handed. Haven't played any holes. All I've done is the super speed training where I started to see a little bit more club speed with the left-handed version. And I really got intrigued on seeing my development as a left-handed golfer. Um, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit 10 shots with a steel golf shaft and 10 shots with a graphite golf shaft. They are both going to be regular shafts. So I've got the True Temper Dynamic Gold R300 and I also hit with the Ulta CB regular graphite golf shaft with the Ping G410 iron here as well to compare the differences between the two of them there too. The reliability of this data will be really good with regards to club speed. But I will say is because I am not a left-handed golfer, is my consistency may not be as strong, but it's gonna be good because it's gonna relate a little bit more to those players that don't play as much golf as I do as I play professionally right-handed. If you do like this content, please subscribe to our channel. We've got great content coming your way in the future, fun content like this. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, make sure you like our videos. I'm excited to see how my left-handed golf swing stacks up with a steel and graphite golf shaft. So real quick, let's take a look at the numbers after the first five shots with the steel and the first five shots with the graphite shaft. So right off the bat, we'll notice with the steel golf shaft, my club speed was 74.8 miles an hour. With the graphite shaft, it was 77.2 miles an hour. So we gained about two miles an hour more club speed with the lighter golf shaft. That's exactly what I would have expected. If we look at the ball speed, Pretty similar ball speed numbers if you take into consideration the differences in the club speed. So the efficiency was pretty similar across the board. Two miles an hour more ball speed than the steel was the, was the graphite. Uh, launch angle was both around about 20 degrees, so very, very similar across the board. Interesting to see that the spin rate was 500 RPMs higher with the left-handed golf swing with the graphite shaft than the steel golf shaft. So that's one thing I would have also expected there too. It's a little bit more spin with the graphite golf shaft. So we're gonna hit five more shots with each one just to make sure that this is as unbiased as we possibly can do. Um, so we're comparing these steel and graphite golf shaft. Just take a look and see what differences, other differences we can focus on. There we go, that was a good one. Okay, we have 20 total golf shots. I hit 10 shots with a steel golf shaft and 10 shots with the graphite golf shaft. Before we take a look at numbers, one thing I did want to touch on is the weight difference. Can noticeably significantly tell that the graphite shaft is a lot lighter than the steel golf shaft. That's something that you definitely would expect. Before I did hit some shots here, what I did is I measured the swing weight with both the steel and the graphite golf shaft. The steel golf shaft came in right around about D0 to D1, where the graphite shaft was around about C8 to C9. So it was about two points lighter. Now, same length in, in, in shaft between the two of them, same exact grip size, same club head, 
but the swing weight was just a little bit lighter with the graphite shaft, and that's something that you would expect there as well. So let's take a look at the numbers and see if there's any differences that we do notice. So first thing we do notice is club speed. I picked up about three miles an hour more speed with the graphite shaft than the steel golf shaft. So we'll notice 75.5 with the steel golf shaft, 78.2 with the graphite golf shaft. So that's the first thing that we do notice is I was able to generate a little bit more club speed with the graphite golf shaft. However, club speed is not all and everything because we want to make sure that we hit it in the middle of the club face as well. So that's why it's important to look at ball speed as well. So we'll notice the ball speed number 103.7 with the graphite shaft, 102.7 with the steel golf shaft. So because ball speed is more important than the club speed, I wanted to bring up one other number to talk about, and that is the smash factor number. So if we take a look up here, you can see that the smash factor number was higher with the steel golf shaft at 1.36 than the graphite shaft at 1.33. So based on my golf swings, that tells me that I was a little bit more efficient with the steel golf shaft. Now this is gonna be completely different for every player, regardless of their golf swing and, and swing type. Some players will swing better with a lighter golf shaft or a heavier golf shaft. What we're seeing here is my efficiency, my ability to hit the middle of the club face was a little bit better with the steel golf shaft. So, Take a look at other numbers here. We'll notice that my launch angle, 20.7, 20.7, was exactly the same. So I by no me all means am a very good golfer left-handed. I've actually hardly ever swing on the golf club left-handed in my life. But kind of interesting how that launch angle there was the exact same with both clubs. Both clubs have this, well, the same head, has the same amount of loft on it. So that's kind of interesting there. Really interesting to see that the graphite golf shaft did spin more than the steel golf shaft. That is also one thing I would also expect, is more spin with the lighter golf shaft than the steel golf shaft. We'll notice we picked up about 400 RPMs more spin. So about 6,000 with the graphite shaft, 5,600 with the steel golf shaft. Kind of look interesting to look at carry distance and total distance. Carry distance at 142.2 with the graphite shaft, 141.8 with the steel shaft. So pretty similar across the board there with regards to kind of numbers and total distance. They're separated by half a yard. So 10 shots with each one. Kind of interesting to kind of take a look and see how they were pretty close. But we did notice I didn't quite swing the steel golf shaft as fast, but the ball still went just as far. So I was able to kind of get that club face a little bit square with this steel golf shaft there as well. Height there was a little bit more height with the graphite shaft. Now we're talking, we're talking three, uh, three feet higher with the, with the graphite. So it wasn't too much higher across the board there, but you, it was just a little bit higher, and that's kind of what you would, would expect. Landing angle, 45, 45.9. So pretty similar across the board there as we take a look at kind of those numbers. Okay, so let's dissect the dispersion screen. So one thing we can notice is that white circle is smaller than the yellow circle. When I ask people in club fittings, I always ask them, hey, which circle do you like better? You would want the one that's gonna be a little bit tighter together, especially if you're trying to hit more greens in regulation. So we do notice that the steel golf shaft on average was just a little bit straighter. So we'll notice how it's kind of right, right up and down the, the screen. We'll notice that the graphite golf shaft maybe a little bit more sporadic, and it actually had a tendency for me to leave the ball a little bit to the left. So you can see the yellow dots over there on, on, the, on the left side there as well. Once again, keep in mind, this is all player dependent. Everyone reacts differently to golf shafts. I'm just showing you what differences can occur when you're testing a steel golf shaft versus a regular golf shaft. So I would consider myself a beginner as a lefty, so this was a fun test as a lefty to hit some shots, 10 shots versus 10 shots, to compare the differences. It is important to come in and get a club fitting and get fit for the right golf shaft. Would that be a steel golf shaft? Would that be a graphite golf shaft? Would that be a heavier or a lighter steel golf shaft? To really compare the differences and find out what golf shaft works better for you. So I really hope you enjoy this content. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Make sure you come in to get club fit 
in our stores and online at secondswing.com. Thanks for watching today. Bye.